Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing plasma proteins. Let us start, however, with discussing the composition of blood. Blood composition. Blood is a fluid tissue that consists of cells that are soaked in plasma. There are three types of blood cells which constitute for 45% of blood. Firstly, erythrocytes, which are red blood cells. Secondly, leukocytes, which are white blood cells. And finally, platelets, which are thrombocytes. The prefix urethro means red and site means cell. So erythrocyte means red cell. Also note that the prefix leuco means white and the prefix thrombo means clot. Plasma constitutes for 55% of blood volume. The plasma has three components. It is made 90% of water, 10% of solids, two parts organic substances, which consists of protein 7 gram per cent, and lipids, which exist as lipoproteins, not as free lipids, and inorganic salts, which are mainly sodium chloride 0.9 gram per cent. Gases in plasma, which are nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Plasma proteins. There are four types of plasma proteins. Albumin, which constitutes for 60%, has a low molecular weight. Globulins, which consists of alpha, beta, and gamma globulins 1 and 2, constitutes for 35%. Fibrinogen, which constitutes for 4%, has the highest molecular weight and prothrombin which constitutes for less than 1%. The suffix in means protein so albumin means white protein. A real life example is an egg white. Globulin means spherical protein just as globe means sphere. In fibrinogen the suffix gen means generating and fibrin means fiber protein which forms a network trapping the red cells which makes the blood clot. The prefix pro means before and thrombus means clot. The suffix in means protein so prothrombin is the protein needed to form blood clots. The site of formation of plasma proteins. All plasma proteins are formed in the liver. Gamma globulins are antibodies, which are formed as well by plasma cells of the immune system. Here's some proof. In liver diseases, all types of plasma proteins are decreased, except gamma globulins, which are increased to compensate for the reduction of other types of plasma proteins. The albumin globulin ratio normally equals between 1.2 and 1.6. It's decreased in two conditions. If albumin is decreased, which is in cases of liver and kidney diseases, or if gamma globulins are increased in cases of infection. The functions of plasma proteins. Plasma proteins have eight functions. For easy memorization, we will classify them into two groups. Each group will have four functions. The first group, which is what we will be discussing now, is related to the four types of plasma proteins. Because each type of plasma protein has a specific function. Albumin constitutes for 60% of plasma proteins, that is between 3.5 to 5 grams for each deciliter, which means percent. Globulins constitute for 35% of plasma proteins, that is between 2.5 to 4.5 grams for each deciliter. 
fibrinogen constitutes for 4%. And finally, prothrombin constitutes for less than 1%. First, we have albumin. Albumin is responsible for most of the effective oncotic or colloidal osmotic pressure of plasma at 28 millimeter mercury. Here's why. Albumin has the highest concentration at 60% and a low molecular weight at around 66,000. So it has the largest number of molecules of all of the plasma proteins. Osmotic pressure depends on the number of molecules. The effective osmotic pressure is the most important force that helps the absorption of tissue fluid at the venous end of capillaries. Next we have globulins. Globulins consist of three types, alpha, beta, and gamma globulins. Androtensinogen is an alpha globulin. Blood clotting factors and transferrin are beta globulins. Gamma globulins are the most important globulins. They have the highest concentration of globulins and the highest molecular weight of globulins. Antibodies are gamma globulins, which are immunoglobulins. Next, we have fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is responsible for most of plasma viscosity, not blood viscosity. Red blood cells are responsible for blood viscosity. Here's why. Fibrinogen molecules have the highest molecular weight at 340,000. Fibrinogen is the clotting factor number one. And finally, we have prothrombin. Prothrombin is the clotting factor number two. Here is the second group of plasma protein functions. For easy memorization, we use the acronym ABCD, which stands for A, adsorption, B, buffer, C, capillary permeability, and finally, D, dynamic functions. First, we have adsorption. Plasma proteins adsorb two things. Firstly, small molecules like minerals and hormones to prevent their loss in urine. And secondly, large molecules like lipids to make it miscible with water. Then we have buffer. Plasma proteins are responsible for 15% of blood buffering power. Quick note, hemoglobin is responsible for the remaining 85% of blood buffering power. Next we have capillary permeability. Plasma proteins decrease capillary permeability. Finally, dynamic functions. Plasma proteins are constantly used by the tissues and formed by the liver. These are dynamic structures. In fasting, the amino acids of broken proteins can be used as a diet reserve to supply energy. Quick note, albumin is formed at a rate of 10% per day. Remember, blood cells form 45% of blood volume. The concentration of sodium chloride in plasma is 0.9 gram percent. There are four types of plasma proteins. Albumin, which has the highest concentration and low molecular weight. Globulins, which consists of three types, alpha, beta, and gamma globulins. Gamma globulins are the most important globulins. Fibrinogen, which has the highest molecular weight, and prothrombin. Plasma proteins are formed by the liver. Gamma globulins are formed by plasma cells. The AG ratio is decreased by liver and kidney diseases and infections. The functions of plasma proteins. Plasma proteins have eight functions. For easy memorization, 
we classify them into two groups. The first group, each of the four types of plasma proteins has a specific function. Albumin is responsible for effective osmotic pressure of plasma. Gamma globulins, which are immunoglobulins, are antibodies. Fibrinogen is responsible for plasma viscosity. It is also clotting factor number one. And prothrombin is clotting factor number two. In the second group, the other functions of plasma proteins. Adsorption, buffer, capillary permeability, and dynamic functions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.